walking flat earth and yes the newest occupant of area 51 juice jennings i know i know you're all thinking the same thing juice didn't you just get smashed in the face with a chair and thrown in a crate and abducted by aliens and the answer is yes but i bounced back pretty fast and i'm adapting to my surroundings i am uh, working with the natives here at area 51 uh before i get into that i want to talk about the conspiracy crate match that led to me being here at Area 51. I know, I know that a lot of people were very excited about this match. A lot of people came from great distances and paid a lot of money to be there to witness the first of its kind, the first ever Conspiracy Crate match in professional wrestling at this last event for Conspiracy Sport Pro. And what can I say? You put Juice Jennings in the main event you name the show after me, you give me the power to create the main event match stipulation, and what do you get? The highest grossing gate in conspiracy sport pro history. These people were hanging from the rafters to see the Juice Man stuff El Cachi in that box. We had close to 200 people in that brewery. The most has probably ever been there since they opened those doors. And all I have to say to Props Brewery, all I have to say to Conspiracy Sport Pro is you're welcome. <laughs> and I hope you learn what happens and how you make how you get successful in this business. It's, it's trusting in the juice man, putting me at the top. But it would appear that they did not learn anything because let's go ahead and look at the, the poster that's been released for their October event. The juice man is nowhere to be found. And maybe they think that I'm stuck in Area 51. I'm not going to make it. Well, they have... They are going to be proven wrong because I've got a lot going on. And while I am in Area 51, I am kind of stuck here against my will. I do have certain privileges. I get yard time. They've got a really good gym here, so I'm getting in really good shape. I'm learning a lot about nutrition from these people here in Area 51. They have all kinds of weird vegetables that I've never even heard of. I think they're, uh, they're not even from Earth. But I'm feeling pretty good. And along with those privileges is uh, some time out. Some time out in, the, in the, the, the general population of the masses. Which means uh, every once in a while they're going to let me out of here. So you never know when the Juice Man will show up. But I am working out a deal with these guys. And uh, I'm going to see what I can do here. With that being said, I have uh, a bone to pick with Conspiracy Sport Pro. Because, again, this was the biggest show they've ever had. And anybody who's been to shows for Conspiracy Sport Pro knows that there's always a ringside photographer. There's always a video crew there documenting the show and the matches. Well, what happens? It's, it's, it's all about the Juice Man. It's Conspiracy Sport Pro and it's uh, Unsolved Conspiracies, right? I'm in the main event. I'm going to be smack dab in the middle of all the action. So what do they do? There is no ringside photographer. There is no film crew. You think that's by accident? You think that's a coincidence? It's No, it's all by design. So, but luckily, they want to just sweep this under the rug like it never happened. They love the fact that I'm gone, rotting in Area 51. But they don't want to have to thank me for bringing, bringing them the biggest gate of their careers. And the existence of that company. But lucky for you, I have some people that were in the crowd. Some followers of the Counter-Strike movement. Some, some conspiracy fighting friends of mine. That had the wherewithal to take some video. So with that, I'm going to throw you to some... Highlights from the first ever Conspiracy Crate Match. Roll it, Daddy.
As you can see, that was some pretty amazing action-packed footage that Conspiracy Sport Pro never wanted you to see. But yeah, I'm here at Area 51. I'm adapting, I'm building relationships, and I'm spreading my wings, baby. But looking forward, there's some other happenings going on in the world of professional wrestling. Elite Conspiracy Wrestling is coming back. After almost a year and a half, they're coming back to Tiger Point Community Center, September 10th. It's a Friday night. Friday night fights. As you can see, Juice Man, I didn't even know about this until right now. They didn't tell me about it. Maybe that means I'm not invited. Let's be honest. The whole reason all this happened, the whole reason the whole world shut down, the whole reason everything got put on hold for a year and a half is because the conspiratorial, tyrannical overlords were scared out of their boots because Counter-Strike was going to shake down the, the establishment. Go back in time and watch my special episode all about the formation of Counter-Strike, which led to the draconian overlords shutting down the world. In turn, shutting down professional wrestling and stopping us from climbing all the way to the top. Just make sure to check that out. The day after that, Revolt is back over in Foley, Alabama. And this is one of those instances I was talking to you about. I have worked out a deal with the people here at Area 51. They will be granting me 24 hours off. They're going to let me out just enough time. They're going to fly me over in one of their saucers. They're going to drop me in Foley, Alabama. And I'm going to kick the crap out of Ray Fury. Now, Ray Fury is a guy that I have never been in the ring with before. But I have had some interactions with him in the ring as far as uh, on the mic. He has questioned my uh, validity as a cruiserweight, as a junior heavyweight. Clearly, he's a uh, weight supremacist and a sizist. And I plan on taking it to him. Because you know what, Ray Fury? You're a big phony. You're a fraud. You cover your face because you've got something to hide. And you know what the Juice Man does? I uncover conspiracies and I bring things into the light. I'm going to beat you down. I'm going to take your mask off. I'm going to show your stupid ugly face to everyone in Foley, Alabama. And then I'm probably going to have to hop a ride back to uh, Area 51 before curfew. But that's what's going to happen. I want to thank everyone who went to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Juice Jennings and took advantage of their Labor Day sale. And if you didn't do it, what were you thinking? Traffic over there was so, so heavy from my shirts, from people wanting to buy my antique and spiritual merch. I heard they had to shut down the site. I assume that's why. It was, it was probably me. But again, I'm over here on Area 51. I'm making relationships, making friendships. In fact, take a look at this. My new friends over here, the inhabitants of Area 51, have put me through their trials. And I've knocked them out of the park. And I'm happy to tell you that I've made so much progress, they have officially accepted me as part of their tribe. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, I'm open in minds and I am uh, establishing relationships to help the fight and expose the conspiracy. I've got tools at my disposal and new allies at my back. And we're just going to keep it rolling, baby. So... You stay tuned. I've got some big developments coming. I will be in Foley, Alabama this Saturday night. You never know what's going to happen. So keep your eyes on the skies. And remember, it's not a coincidence. It's a conspiracy, Daddy! Come on. Yeah. Come on. It's like that. It's like that. Come on. Yeah. Come on.